Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. This is your market update for Thursday, October 27th. So stock market today having a great day on the back of some news, some positive news about the uh, annualized GDP report, the gross domestic product report, uh, which shows that the economy in the third quarter of this year grew by more than anticipated. It was a 2.6 percent. Uh, whereas the number, the expected number was 2.3 to 2.4%. And that comes after the first two quarters of this year actually showing uh, economic contraction. Uh, so the way that the market is digesting that is that with the economy growing at a, at a rate that was higher than anticipated, that there's less of a chance of a recession. And of course, the stock market really likes that uh, up uh, currently at one point in time was up over 500 points on the Dow. I think right now is up like 450 points. Um, do keep in mind, and it's important to note that that is the first um, report or first uh, number to be released. Uh, there will likely be some revisions to the GDP that may bring that uh, percentage of increase down a little bit. So depending upon um, what the revisions show, the market could digest those changes and, and could, you know, in the coming days, um, you know, take more of a turn for the worse, depending upon what the revisions show. Um, Mortgage-backed securities today having a good day as well. Initially opened pretty much unchanged, uh, but have since then, last I looked a few moments ago, we're up 44 basis points. That's after um, you know, good days uh, for the last few days. So we're basically having um, our fourth day of, of pretty solid um, you know, activity, a uh, positive activity in the mortgage-backed security market. Um, so we'll see how that unfolds for the rest of the week. The Freddie Mac 30 and 15 year publish rates come out later today. Um, I will let you know tomorrow what those reflect that as a week over week change uh, from last week. Um, and also, you know, as I mentioned this week, uh, multiple occasions, there's still a lot more um, economic news coming out this week. Um, the uh, core inflation report, the PCE report is coming out tomorrow. That's the Federal Reserve's favorite um, report for gauging inflation. They're going to be looking at that strongly ahead of their meeting on November 1st and 2nd. Uh, markets pretty much built, built in and anticipating uh, Fed funds uh, rate hike of another 75 basis points. Um, it, but I think, you know, even more uh, significant than that, the market's going to be looking strongly at the Federal Reserve's comments at the culmination of their meeting and their minutes to kind of give some anticipation or indication moving forward of what their plans are for their meeting in December, whether or not we can expect another rate hike, which I think that we will. But, um, you know, kind of if they're giving any kind of indication of what that rate hike may be, if it's another 75 basis points, the market's probably not going to like that too much. I think that uh, the market's kind of anticipating the Fed's going to uh, pause a little bit. Now, I don't mean pause on um, another increase in December, but um, I think they're expecting a lower uh, Fed funds rate hike, maybe 50 basis points as opposed to 75 basis points. Um, and that would be a good thing for the markets moving forward. So uh, we will continue to keep you updated as all the crazy, crazy economic news and earnings reports continue to come out this week. I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you in the morning.